This is my Silver SVO8. I've removed the bell plate. This is actually the bed. It's still a bit warm. But I have this try the pin on it. I wanted to see how flat. Yeah, no auto leveling. I moved the camera down a bit. Well, but then you can see better, okay? Sorry about the bright light there. So I think this metal roll there has a pretty straight edge on it. See that light underneath there? I'm not faking it. Let's try almost corner to corner. And it's touching either side. Now obviously if you pour a bit of plate on there, the magnetics are going to pull it down and that, presumably that bit of plate will also be distorted, not flat anyway. And yeah, this does have ABL, automatic bed leveling. I don't know how good that is with the, the inductive probe it has on. This was the previous print, much left of it. Not on here, on the bed plate I have, which I have over here somewhere. And this has been damaged. Heat the magnet there, pulling it down. Let's try. There's that torch out. I'll turn this other light out. See the gap under there. And if I try the other sort of side of this ruler, still go gap underneath the middle. So it's almost as if the middle is galvanized in here. Now, as I say, this is, it's on the uh, 38 at the moment. Now, does the inductor pull? I'll do a bed mesh and I'll show you that on there. Uh, I'll use the devices tab, like in clipper, basically. I tend to think of it as a clipper tab, not a devices tab. I'll show you that just now, okay? So, right. What I want to do is go on the height map here. Click on that. Now, that does look like it's dipping in the middle. Going to clear that calibrate after default. Now, yeah, it's doing the old uh, light bed mesh now. Now, 
This is with the bitter plate back on. I'll come back when it's near the end of the uh, bed mesh. Right, it's coming up the last row of probing, so just now we should see the heat map appear on here. Let's have a look at it. There we are, look at that. I'll try and zoom in a bit. Mind you, there's a tendency for heat maps to look worse than what they really are in real life. But that does seem to match what I did with that metal ruler there that is dipping down in the centre. And this is with the bed heated to 65. I'm going to do it again and I'll come back when it's done it. Right, any second now. Heat map disabled. Ah, it's alright. Because the machine is rebooting after doing the heat map. It does that to store the values in the firmware. So that's about the same as the first scan I did, sort of probing, right? This tab, go on machine, find a printer CFG, printer config, click on that. And basically, we need to go right down the bottom. Well, there it says bed mesh default. Yes, you can see the difference that has made to this height map. Range of 0.6, half a millimetre, well over half a millimetre there. I'm surprised it's that low actually. So let's have a look in the uh, machine. In a config, yeah, it's rebooted and one thing or another. Copy this out of here. I'll forgive any spelling in this. And Are there differences? Well, we can see in this area here, as opposed to here, there's definitely like a difference. Or even up here, to here there's a difference. So it does seem to be changing the printer config file, okay? Whether or not that printer config file is used in the firmware software, whatever you want to call it, is a different matter.